Hey friends, Dave here with Transfer Express, and today we're talking artwork requirements and print standards as it relates to screen printed and direct to film heat transfers. We're going to explain what these minimum requirements are, how they differ between transfer types, and how you could check your artwork to identify any issues before they arise, ensuring headache free quality prints every time. To top it off, we'll print below and above print minimums to help illustrate what these results look like on your finished t-shirts. So are you ready? Let's get to it. If you are new to Transfer Express, we are the world's largest supplier of custom screen printed and digital heat transfers, heat presses, free customizable designs, wholesale apparel, and expert advice to help grow your t-shirt business. If you haven't already subscribed, we're kicking out new videos like this one every single week. So to kick us off here, let's define what we're talking about with minimum artwork requirements or print standards. Essentially, we are talking about the minimum line weight or text size in your artwork file that you could print on your apparel. So the finished print matches how you see it on screen. This is also going to account for our show through areas or negative space. So these areas don't disappear completely in those final prints. We are working with liquid based ink with our screen prints after all. Now general industry minimums for screen printing are one point for line thickness and then this applies to font sizing too with the stem or line of each character no thinner than one point. So that's right around 16 points with most fonts when you're printing on fabric. Now here at Transfer Express, we have a very handy tool that you could use in our easy view online designer to check both your line weight and show through areas for our different transfer types. We made a whole video on using that tool. We'll link it right here and down in the description below. Now with that tool, you notice there's a couple transfer types listed on it, and we're going to be covering the most popular here today, the goof proof screen printed transfers and ultra color max direct to film transfers. For our examples, we're going to be using a simple testing chart for both screen printing and direct to film with areas on our transfers here printing above and below the minimum requirements. We have our show through areas for screen printing at the top, some line weights from 0.5 point to 15 point and text two ways, one as positive ink and then knocked out as negative space to the garment color. On the side, we have just a stylized halftone drawdown starting at two points for the dot size, just for some detail reference. Now, for our goof proof screen printed transfers, let's start with the minimum line weight, and that's going to put us right at one point or 0.012 inches, the screen printing industry standard. Now you can see here for our 0.5 point line, it looks pretty good printed and it did in fact print. However, we may run into some durability issues where it's not going to meet that standard of 50 plus wash dry cycles that we have all of our transfers independently tested for. Like I mentioned earlier, you'll want to ensure whatever font you use meets those standards too, in terms of thickness of each line on the characters. Here on our example, we have printed um, eight or nine point font is right where we're clean and clear using a standard Arial typeface. Now, any smaller, and we're going to run into issues like you see here on our prints. The actual size of your text will differ depending on the specific font you use, as some are thicker or thinner than others. It's just something important to keep in mind when you're using small text on, say, inside tag prints. Now, this is a great opportunity to stop and mention the minimum show through thickness at 2.8 points or 0.04 inches. With small text, you're going to notice this the most with letters like P or O here closing up into solid areas of ink. And as knocked out text, we lose a lot of the text, pretty much all the way to, ah, man, 18 point font is really the smallest I feel safe going where we could actually read the words. You might even wanna go larger. For our minimum show through line weight up here at the top of our graphic, you'll notice that we really can't see the break in the solid area at 1.5 point, which is underneath the minimum. Here on our white version, 
you actually can barely see it still here, but it almost closed up. Now, with increased pressure on press, if you don't have a Hotronics press with that exact number, it may cause the inks to spread a little bit more when you're on your heat press, and that's gonna cause it to completely fill in. And that's why there's a clear set standard of 2.8 points where it's never going to fill in. You can see nice and clear here on both of our examples. Now take this into consideration when you're setting up your artwork for printing and what is critical to print clean and clear. You're going to want to ensure that text is readable, of course, but say for some fine detail, it might not be mission critical to have it clean and clear in your prints. So for example, it may be okay if you miss a few seeds in a strawberry with them filling in on your final print. It's all going to depend on your specific artwork. Now let's shift on over to direct to film transfers. Now, before we dive into specifics, there's a few differences I'd like to point out. The first being the show through areas. Since the printing process is different for direct to film, the inks do not spread like our Plastisol screen printing inks do under the pressure of the heat press like we saw. So it's a little bit more like heat transfer vinyl where it's just going straight down. Now this allows us to achieve finer show through areas that we can't achieve with those screen printed Plastisol inks that we just looked at. Now this also allows us to get much better definition in small characters, for example, here in our knocked out text. However, our minimum line weight is actually slightly larger than what could be achieved with screen printing. So instead of one point, our minimum with DTF transfers is 1.29 points. So here, while our finished print looks okay, we're actually going to have some breakup when we just start rubbing it with our finger here, and we're going to have wash durability issues under those minimum artwork requirements. Since direct to film is a different printing process, the adhesive needs ink to hold onto, along with a white backing to ensure colors are fully opaque on light or dark garments. So it's easy to see when you take a look at the back side of the transfer. You can see these areas like the fine lines and small text on our black ink transfer here aren't thick enough to have white printed behind them. And that means they're probably not going to have an adequate amount of adhesive on them. Now, luckily at Transfer Express, we take all of the guesswork out of these minimums when printing direct to film with an industry exclusive live proof in our review step. As the final step before ordering, our system is going to analyze your artwork and identify printing issues like these before you order. So you can make corrections or approve your art before placing your order. As you can see in our example, this step in the EasyView Online Designer identified pretty much all of the areas that we're concerned about here on the actual transfer that we received. Now, these areas are going to print to the garment just like we saw. But without that proper amount of adhesive, they break down with just rubbing and they're definitely gonna wear prematurely and have durability issues when you start to launder them. So it's best to meet the minimums of those print standards. Now again, just like with DTF and just like with our screen printed transfers, some little fine details you may be okay with when you see it in that review step. So if it's just a little corner here or there, most likely it's going to be completely fine to print with your artwork. Now if it's text or important elements that are being flagged in that review step, then it might be time to modify your artwork. But regardless of the product type you're ordering, we are here to help with a team of artists standing by ready to modify your art. Now artwork help is free with screen printed transfers, like the first example that we looked at with our goof proof screen printed transfers, uh, hot split and elastoprints transfers. Now our ultra color max direct to film transfers, there is a $26 charge for any additional file help. So you can see here, we did push the limits of what we could do with screen printed and direct to film heat transfers, all in the spirit of helping decorators just like you. Now, do you have a topic that you'd like to see us cover or questions about anything we covered here today? Let us know down in the comment section below. I'll answer them personally, and I always love to keep the conversation going. As always, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the Transfer Express YouTube page right here and stay up to date on all of the helpful t-shirt printing tips, tricks, inspiration, and education that we're dropping every single week. But until next time, I'm Dave. Happy pressing.